Hi, I'm Expectus and in this video I'm going to show you how to create some hard techno using the 64 pads of the Akai Force. Um, this is a really nice method to play it more like an instrument and you will have a lot of fun with it. And I will make the project file available on my Gumroad for a purchase. Um, you can find the link down in the bottom in the description. So uh, if you like this and you want to see how I made it exactly, you can, uh, can get it there. Hope you like it. I will now demonstrate uh, everything. As you can see, I have 64 pads and they all have uh, separate sounds. Um, most of them, like this, uh, for example, this, uh, those 16 are drums. And as you can see here, I color coded these um, to reflect more like uh, samples from synths. This is a bass. And I pitched them all. Let me now disable the AWP. That's something I come back to later, but... This one also has a nice technique. Um, and I will make another video about that. You can create chords by using samples and tune the samples differently. I will come back to that in the next video. But for now, let's listen what, what happens. So it, it is almost like a chord and some pads. And here are percussion samples, and drum samples. And the same one is duplicated over here, but this one has more distortion on it for the hard techno feel. So this, this already has some distortion, but listen to this. It compares it to that one. And also uh, there are a few different settings for kicks so you can make breaks. So when you have these 64 pads, you can perform. And a video by Nick Trikakis uh, showed that, it was from a few years ago, maybe I can find it and I will link it uh, if I can find it. Um, he also used this technique, and if you go into the ARP, you press Shift ARP, and you make sure that the setting is to note repeat and 16th note, for example, and it's on, you have that you can repeat samples, and that's really cool. Like this. And then you can do stuff like this. Or, um, so you you got really a nice uh, way of playing with the samples and yeah it's it's just a matter of of making the samples um, as you wish if if i go into this one for example i layered this kick with a few other samples and they are all tuned so it matches and um, yeah it gives this punch um, especially this this method of working the 64 pads is really great when you want to just experiment with sound and you can record it and then uh, make loops out of it and those loops can then be uh, played live if you get this project you also get the clips that i have and one tip here is what i did with these clips i can show it um, if you go into the clip there's this legato function that's that's over here i don't know if you can see it properly but uh, there there's the legato this this button and that means that when the playhead is playing and you go to another clip it will continue from the same position and if you then press shift and you press normally it's set to one bar launch quantization but i set it to for example one eighth you can jump between the clips so let's have a quick listen to uh, to what i made over here is the the regular kick drum let's start with that one this is a uh, copy but this, uh, this contains only the uh, the hi-hat with 
when I now as you can see the play head is continuing from the position where I was This is also a trick that you get uh, when you get the project file. Um, yeah, I hope you like it. It is a quick video, but it really demonstrates what you can do uh, with um, with the force. And in this case, I wanted to make some uh, hard techno. And yeah, maybe I can go through all the samples if you want. Yeah, why not? I did this one. That's a good one to end with, or an intro. It's from the sequential Prophet Breath 2, and then added some distortion, the growly sound. So, if you like this video, please consider subscribing and hit the like button, and uh, also get my project if you are into this style of uh, of music. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.